taking on the Indianapolis Colts. Here's the punter, Rigoberto Sanchez, on to get us started. And we are underway from Indianapolis. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this day, has got to be priority one. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Oh, his first throw of the game, gonna be intercepted. Picked up by Juju Brents. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Brent, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, his guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side now. How will they attack on offense? First and 10, Richardson looks to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. It's McKenzie. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. From the 23, here's second and six. 18, Rattler, 18, Hustle, Hustle, Hustle. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get the snap off. Richardson now on second down. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Zach Cunningham rolling in to get the sack. But you just knew that these rushers were eager to do that today. Put him on the ground. Their plan, introduce themselves individually to this rookie quarterback. They said a load a big way there with a loss of double-digit yards on that sack. Trap 60, trap 60. On the ball, on the ball. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. Online, but off the crossbar, no good. A long-range effort denied three points at the very end. All things considered, a pretty good kick. Just cruel punishment there to be denied by the crossbar. If you're going to hit from that distance, sometimes you're going to need a little luck. And unfortunately for him, this time the break goes against him. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Throwing his hurts. He's going to get that. 
to his running back out of the backfield and all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Forced out to his left. Hurts fumbles it. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it 7-zip. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they were in field goal range the last time out but couldn't connect. And it's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. But let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. Okay. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. On second down, it's Richardson to throw it. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Let's go now. Here now a third down and eight. 70 Ranger, 70 Ranger. <laughs> On third down, here's Richardson. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he'll be out of bounds at the 25-yard line. And that's good for a gain of six. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps Ready. out of bounds that close. Not their best play. 70, Timberwolf. Warriors, 70. Go. Going for it on fourth, Richardson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Eagles are going to take over in great go, go, field go. position. On first and ten, it's Swift. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. There to make the tackle, Samson Abuka. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Hurts sets up to throw it. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. So this defense coming up with a takeaway, and maybe that's something that can bring a little life to that sideline. Well, I don't want to say that they've been sleepwalking through this first half because that's simply not true, but you're right. We haven't seen a lot of fire from these guys, really, on either side of the ball. So maybe that's the catalyst that they needed to get them back into this game. They'll start on the ground with Moss. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. 
The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A good run there on right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta. And oh, caught it up. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in the meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to... Hurts fumbles it. And this is picked up by the defense. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. He tried to buy some time to the right. So, Charles, when a guy gets out of the pocket, what's the focus of the quarterback? Most of them keep their eyes downfield. They want to try and make a play throwing the ball. Some of them, they want to tuck it and go. But when they scramble in this game... Richardson under pressure, and down he goes. Zach Cunningham, his second sack of the night. He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Play action. Now Richardson. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. A rifles one, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. Under pressure, they got him again. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. From the gun, it's Hurts. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. From the gun, here's Swift. The Juju Brents comes up for the stop. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Here's Hurts to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 14. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he stopped immediately there. Here's second and 10. Hurts. Smith catches left side. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Now back to throw. Touchdown! DeAndre Swift in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles will extend their lead here just before halftime. Well, CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield, and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options you maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield, they're eligible too. Eagles no, no, offense no. staying out there. Of course, Hurts always a threat to run. They'll go for two. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Shaquille Leonard, the linebacker. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there. But that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. Oh, 
good return up past the 30. And he's out of bounds, but not before getting across the 50 to the 45. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Colts getting the football first, and they trail here as we are back underway in quarter number three. Oh, miscommunication on the lateral. The ball's out. That's a tremendous start to the third quarter. These guys had their foot on the gas the entire first half. They continue to keep the accelerator down. Of scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I'll give them credit winning that first snap and forcing an incompletion. They're hoping that'll deflate the offense a little bit if they took the field charged up after taking over after a turnover. Now is second and 10. Here's a handoff to Swift, running left. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Thankfully for the offensive fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. First down, and they go with Swift again. He takes this down to about the 12 for a gain of three. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles. Tough spot here. Third and long. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Olamide Zacchaeus. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles had six to their lead. Now that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine on the defense that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes that is the unaccounted for player. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is... Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety... 